Hello beautiful people, this is Steve from Black Boy Games and welcome back to my playthrough of Doom, but not just any Doom, the Ultimate Doom, released in 1995. The original Doom of course released in 1993, Doom 2 was released in 1994 and then they brought out a... They brought out a dead demon. Ah yes, dead demons. Um, yeah, and then Ultimate Doom came out in 1995, it's a repackaged original Doom with another entire episode, so four episodes instead of three. Now this level shows just beautiful design philosophy, so check it out, unlike the usual linear corridor shooters that, you know, waste high walls and regenerating health, this, you can go off that way and that's a legitimate massive area to explore, you can go up through the middle, up through some weird temple thing, or you can go off this way. Which way are we going to go? I am going to go this way. Imps in cages up high. To the left, they're just on the ground. Ah yes, everything is dead. Excellent. Now, let's... Oh hey! Another one of these guys. Alright. And if you rushed, you would find yourself Spected. Little spectre hidden away in there. Ah! Wasn't looking at all. Do I need more bullets? Yes. Uh, what else have we got? Just deal with these guys. Uh oh. Fireballs to the left of me. Fireballs to the right. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, what I like to do is tag enemies. What you do is you tag an enemy. Uh oh. All sorts of rubbish happening here. All sorts of rubbish. And I lost much more health than I would like to. But what you do is you shoot a big enemy once. And then you get that big enemy to attack a smaller enemy. The big enemy ignores the smaller enemy and comes after you because the big enemy has already been hit by you. And so it comes after you, all the while the small enemy is scratching away at its health, damaging it. So rather than get a big enemy to fight a small enemy, you shoot the big enemy first and then get the small enemy to fight it. The small enemy will damage it while the big enemy is chasing you. That was a long-term explanation of, you know, a very simple concept. It's probably, it's not simple because I haven't explained it well. It's not not simple because you guys aren't smart, right? I hope that all made sense. It made sense in my head, didn't express it very well. Moving on. This here is a secret, so you could rush down this corridor of alternating dark and light and completely miss this secret. Let's go this way. Now this secret leads you to your first genuine look at a hellish environment. Ah yes. Whoa! We're out of shotgun shells. So here we have what hell starts to look like in this game. And you might say to me, it doesn't look a lot like hell. And then I'd say to you, Oh, so you're some kind of hell expert now. Yeah? Some kind of hell expert. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Maybe tell me more about what hell looks like. Tell me more. I'm listening. Um. I have a vague premonition of having done something bad there. Yeah, there was a switch hidden in the floor, but fortunately for me, I know that switches are infinitely vertical, i.e. you can hit the switch, as long as you're standing in front of the switch, you can hit it from any height. So that switch was set into the ground there in that hole, but... And somehow we found a secret here. Cool! With lots more ammo, I approve. Don't need that armor, we'll take that backpack. Do I want that berserk pack? Yeah, screw it. Now look at the texture running along that walkway. The texture on the side there is a door texture. So, okay, I guess it works. What's on this side? The same one. Don't fall into the lava. Now, see that water there? See how it says poison? Do not fall in there. One, the water hurts you, and two, you can't get back out. You will die. Hey! Good to see ya! And by good to see ya, have a fist. Ah, fisty wisties. Now, moving right along. See, there's a secret out there if you run into the sludge, which you can see from the window. See, more beautiful design choices. A lot of modern games, they look amazing, but their foundational core philosophies around design and stuff. Maybe, and you've got to damage yourself a little bit if you want the extra ammo. Good design choices there, forcing you to make decisions. 
more than just let's go down this corridor. Alright. Ow. Yeah. Do -do -do. Blue key, we need a blue key. So now, we step up on here. And that uh, lowers a secret. Ow. Do you mind? Come on, sorry. There we go. Now there's an all map. I don't want to pick up... Oh, well, that'll do. I don't want to pick it up yet because I don't want to waste the health. And this gives us access to blue armor, which I'll get in a little while also. Alright, there you go. Now, as I said in the last video, fisting is much easier in this Doom because um, the hitboxes have been changed in Z Doom. You, so you hit the monsters from the outside, you don't hit their very center. What's up here? Um, now, down here was an invulnerability ball, and that water will also hurt you. Alright, let's get the invulnerability ball and see what we can do with it. Um. Uh, go this way. Hey guys, come here. Uh, punchy poo. Ah, oh, oi. Oi, there you are. Alright. Let's get it on. Oh, don't run out. Ah, uh, yes, I'm no longer invulnerable now. But that's alright, because I'm still fistalicious. Ah, fistalicious. Let's go this way. Oh, uh, what's down here? Just some ammo and stuff. That works for me. I love how my spine has been turned into an elevator. Escalator? Lift. Let's just call it a lift. Now let's see what's down this way. That's where we came in. And this here... I think if we just drop down here and run into the sludge. Get that, because we're not coming back. Now, the very brave player will run into the lava and get that. I actually thought that was a BFG around there. There's a BFG around here somewhere, but I can't remember where it is just right now. Nothing. There it is. Oh, I knew it was there somewhere. My memory. Can't remember what day it is half the time, but boy, I can sure remember games and stuff. How weird. Isn't that surreal? Maybe it's because I remember games that I can't remember what day it is. So, we have now done a full loop. Shells. More shells. Health and rockets. More ammo. And skulls on the wall. Wow. Can't emphasize how scary this game was. And we've now done a full lap. This is where we started. We went down there, right around the level, and came out here. We've also done a little bit of the middle. We went up that way last time, didn't we? So let's go up this way this time. Ah, fisticuffs. It's fist delicious. Do you mind, son? Health. Um, shells. Now, where was... Uh, was that everything up there? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Other side. This is where we have to go. Easy to get lost in these maps, but these maps were back in the day of no hand-holding here. If you got lost, you got lost. Bad luck. Work it out, sunshine. Work it out. And that's the blue key that we wanted inside this weirdly silver room. Alright, and up the lift we go. Punch that eye, you know, in the eye. Ah! Ow! See, one of the things about games like this, you could be a little bit illogical because the level didn't have to make absolute coherent sense. That floor hurt me for no reason. Um, now we need a blue key door. Well, for no reason. I mean, this is this place is turning into hell. And one of the things about hell is it's not logical and consistent. It's very arbitrary in its punishments. And that raises a very profound philosophical question about game design. How do you make something feel like hell, which has arbitrary punishments, without arbitrarily punishing the player? You know? You want to punish the player when the player does something that doesn't make sense within the context of a game world. It's very frustrating to be arbitrarily punished, and also cruel, but in hell you need to arbitrarily punish people, so how do you find that balance? 
That's a question beyond the scope of this video. I'll give it some thought, because I can't really do higher level thought while I'm, you know, playing games. I can't. True story. Maybe that's bad. Maybe I shouldn't be playing games. I don't really know. This video is almost 10 minutes old and we've only done one level. So let's exit this level. Uh, we missed a couple of monsters. We missed one secret. But that's okay. Now where are we off to? The House of Pain. It's promising. Sounds promising. Let's get into the House of Pain. Um, hello? I've come to talk to you about your eternal salvation. I mean, you're living in the House of Pain, so at this point, any salvation is good salvation, right? Right? Now I need to be in here, and I need to blow up. No, no, no. Get out of the way. I need to blow up some barrels. Ow. I always love the look of this room. The way there was like, sort of like, flowing... It looked like a sewerage treatment room, but then the sewerage solidified into living matter. Ah, yes, just like my English essays. Solidified into living sewerage. Ah, we don't need those shells, we'll come back for them. Or maybe we won't. Now this level, confusing while sort of being consistent. Doom actually did a great job of arbitrarily punishing you without making it seem like it was arbitrarily punishing you. I want some rockets. How are our rockets doing? Very badly. Well, suck it up and just use shells. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Cacodemons love living in hot places. Oh look, I'm wasting too much time. If I was playing on my own, I would do that with shotgun shells. Alrighty. Following this path around leads me to more demons. Pinky demons, specifically. Pinky demons. Ah, uh, yes, I've dated worse. Oh, I've dated worse. Now, we don't want that blue armor very clearly. Ah, uh, okay, hey. Things got real. Ta-da! When you weren't used to moving in a full 3D environment, we're all used to 3D games now, but this forced you... Combat like this, if you stepped off the path, you fell into acid blood, which damaged you. So, this game, really, really challenging in terms of movement back in the day. Do I want that? Mmm, yeah, right, I'll take it. And I'll take you, and I'll take you. See, there's a window there? I think there's a way to get to that, can't remember. I think this teleporter here does it. And somehow it's a secret, but there's nothing in the secret really worth getting, so... Onwards. Ah, uh, shells, yeah, do want. A door, do want. Alright, come here lads. Oh, punching explosive barrels. Not recommended for noobs. Nice. Now. Wow, someone shot the barrel for me. Now, if I remember rightly, there was a trick to this. You see how there's stuff inside the pits? But you have to raise the pits up without triggering the pillars. Oh crap. Up. There we go. Alright. So do I need that? I'll take all of that. Crushing pillars. Huh. Now, do I want that? Um, alright. Shells it is. Let's get it done. Seeing as we're invulnerable, let's just run in and make like someone who's invulnerable. I'll have that. See, picking up that health triggers a trap, which would cost you much more health than the health you're given. La da 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 da. Key here. It's a blue key. You can't see what color keys are when you're invulnerable. Let's just start lots of infighting. Oop. Uh oh. Um, okay. Let's maybe kill some things now. If I get in trouble, I've always got my plasma gun. The backup weapon of champions. Yep. Alright. See what I said before about getting the big guy to hit the little guy? And the little guy goes and attacks the big guy. Come on. Shoot. Shoot. Wow. There we go. Now what else have we got? Woo! 
Woo! Things just got real. Let's blow up all those imps. Yeah, I love blowing up barrels. More great design choices. Barrels that you could blow up to damage your enemies. Who came up with that? Like, every single game since has done it. But you know, barrels of toxic sludge lying around? I'm gonna finish you off quickly. Suck my blue plasma balls. <laughs> yeah. I'm really gonna stop doing that. Ah, yes. Alrighty, let's get it on. Ah, some sort of Stygian vision of hell. Like me when I get up in the morning. Now, shoot you. Pick up stuff. Wow. Alright, time some chain gun. This game... Like, if you look at this room, for example, marble walls, a high-tech ceiling, and brick paved floors. Don't get too carried away in the architecture, sunshine. Not too carried away. Alright. Ah, yes. Kill all the things. Because this game has become relatively easy with the passage of time, it doesn't reflect the design choices as well, because basically now it looks like you just run around and murder things. There is a secret here. Blow up the barrels, kill the things. Well, not you apparently. Alright, lots of rockets. Lots of rockets there, that's what we want. Now here... There's a switch there, see? It gives you a clue, but you've got to run over the damaging floor to get to the switch. But if we do that... Raises you back up. Managed not to take damage so far, which is really good. Uh, okay, let's just kill these guys. Whoa! And see? You think you're facing three imps, but a demon. A pinky, invisible dude to the side there. Amazing design choices. Let's get out some rockets. Three, four, five. Alright. Now what's in here? Health, we'll come back for that at the end of the level. For now, we have things to do, stuff to see, people to be. And the people I want to be is Doom Guy Me. Have we done everything else? Yeah, we got the blue key. We've done everything we really needed here. Oh, wow. Let's just kill a couple of these guys. Kill him. More shells to pick up. Excellent. We got full shells. Oops. Alrighty, onwards. Deeper into this Stygian, Stygian maze. Now, these weird doors were really hard to figure out at the time. Because one door opens to the level that the other door is open. So... Um, I'll try and explain that better than I have. See, there's two doors, one on top of the other there. One door will never open higher than the other door, so... Alright, fine. More pinks. Ah, pink demons. Um, okay, can't use that armor, but I will use that. Kill all the things. Alright. Onwards. Okay, we're making good progress. Four switches. Well, eight switches on two pillars. We'll have that. Now, this was kind of a puzzle. He had to listen. Two switches open two doors. Two switches close two doors. So, we've opened that door and we've opened this door to the yellow key, which we need. Now, if I hit these other two switches... Um... That closed both of the doors. And that opens them again. So that actually took a little while to figure out. Uh, okay, what's in here? Yellow key, thank you. Hmm. 
Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Blood floor, blood floor. Reminds me I should clean my room. Blood floors, they're a thing. Um, okay. That opens a door. That opens a door. Good. That closes a door. Closes a door. Open, open. Alright. Oh, I meant to shoot you. And that's the yellow key door that you have to go through. Right. So, and that gives us the red key. So you can see a very clear texture misalignment there. Obviously a mistake, but you know, like, given the tools they had to work with back in the day, it was exceptional that there were so few mistakes like that. Okay, now what we want here is we'll take that. And we'll take that. And now is everything open? No, everything is not open. Now everything is open. We have to go through this here, which trust me is the red key door. They're red skulls, you can't tell right now. And let's get it on. And kill you. Now I really should get a move on because this whole area here is damaging floors. Let's get off the damaging floor. Right. Good. Now that door opens. There's a secret. Oh yeah. Nice. Another blue armor there for me. Well, I could have taken the other blue armor earlier. Alright. Come on. Sit down, son. Don't try and chew on me. Bite me, but don't chew me, right? You with me? I'm sure you're with me. And this is where we go. This is our exit. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Ah, scratchy. Oh yeah, itchy and scratchy. Did you guys used to watch Itchy and Scratchy? Like Ren and Stimpy, only, you know, nothing at all like Ren and Stimpy. Now, we want to not get the armor. We're going to run back through here. There was a secret in there. Don't ask me how I know that. I think the wall was slightly different, and I discovered it years ago. There's not really much else to go back and do on this level. Oh, yeah, there was a soul sphere that we had to get. So, let's get us a soul sphere. I love me a bit of soul sphere. Let's get it. And... Ow. Wait, what? I hear monsters. I hear a lot of monsters. No, oh, nothing I can do about it now. Because I don't know where they are. And I don't want to make you guys sit around while I like, endlessly search the level. Although I am going to look in one quick place. I know where they are now. We didn't do these two doors before. Let's pick up stuff and things. This door here. That door locks and you have to get past the Cacodemon to open the door again. That was a nasty little trap back in the day. You'd take quite a lot of damage there. Okay, now we're done. Two day exit. And that's um, Latin pig speak for to the exit, but it also means exit today. Found a secret. Um, yes. Pick those up. And yes. Do, do, do. And this is the exit. Now this blue suggests coolness, suggests we're going somewhere slightly nicer. Let me tell you people, we're not. How'd we do? All secrets, didn't kill everything. Disappointing. So, we are off to the Unholy Cathedral. Sounds nice. Take the wife and kids. Uh, guys, I'm going to wind up this episode. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Steve from Black Boy Games. And as always, a pride, a pleasure, and a privilege to bring you these videos. Thank you so much for your support and for watching. And we are out of here. Bye for now.